Hi, this is John Hope Bryant. I'm the founder of Operation Hope and the vice chairman of the U.S. President's Council on Financial Literacy, where I've had the honor of uh, advising President Clinton, President Bush, and now I'm serving President Obama as vice chairman after 2010. So I've watched your video, uh, Creative Scientist, uh, on uh, moral currency, and I'm only speaking for myself here now, make that clear. I'm speaking uh, as an individual, but uh, I was inspired uh, uh, by your concept. I think it may be complicated uh, in uh, in the elegant way in which you outline it for it to be implemented, uh, although I think that a version of it is implemented already. It's called the failure of Countrywide. <laughs> it's called the failure of Enron. In other words, the market has already paid a tax uh, on unscrupulous uh, companies that have uh, uh, economically raped and pillaged uh, consumers. Uh, when the only uh, equation is an economic equation, when there is only an, a financial agenda, a money agenda, not a prosperity agenda, an ideas agenda, uh, an empowerment agenda, a service agenda, when you don't live for something larger, more important than yourself, as well, you, far, you go far enough in the North Pole, you end up south. You out, you just outrun your course. Uh, I think there's also another moral currency. It's called financial literacy. Uh, one of the things that I uh, believe will happen uh, as a result of this crisis, well, one thing that's happened is it got people like you exercised. And, uh, and we're having really a crisis of values in the U.S. and around the world because we put all our stock in things. And as you said, we didn't value, uh, if you look at some of the gangster rap on TV, they glorify a dollar, whether it's made selling crack. Uh, I mean, the Rolls Royce gets bought by the same dollar, whether it's crack, or whether you're a scientist. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, uh, and I think that in the last 20 years, my friend Quincy Jones says, we've made dumb sexy. We think about that for a minute. We've dumbed down. We've, uh, our communities, our, community, our kids are really almost adopted a thug culture. It's laziness. Uh, and it's just, you know, uh, how do I get paid today? So in the last 20 years, we've made dumb sexy. In the next 20 years, we need to make smart sexy again. So we need to flip the script. Financial literacy is a way to flip the script. But it wasn't important before. With this global economic crisis, everybody understands the difference between a payment and an interest rate. The problem is that people didn't ask what the payment was, the interest rate was. They bought homes from sometimes from un, the unscrupulous predatory lenders, and they asked only what the payment was. So we were taken advantage of, but we participated in that. We contributed in that. And so we need to have a new civil right, and that's financial literacy for all. We need to have a new silver right. Uh, a bank account for every person. Uh, put the payday lenders and the check cashers and the unscrupulous uh, financial creditors, ghettoized financial services, run them out of business uh, using free enterprise and capitalism. Give every person an electronic FDIC insured uh, uh, bank account uh, and stream uh, the payments from the Treasury for Social Security and other payments through that bank account. Uh, stream financial literacy through that bank account and literally put uh, the unscrupulous uh, financial creditors out of a $10 billion a year business. Uh, so you have a choice to make. In other words, it's not just the government. Uh, your, moral, uh, your moral currency argument uh, it was placed, at least I framed it, I heard it as almost a response from the government. The question is, what can you do? There's only so much President Obama is going to be able to do. Uh, there's only so much that any government is going to be able to do. But uh, Gandhi once said that you can be the, the change you want to see in the world. You can make a choice. You can make a choice not to do business with predators uh, and to, to honor companies that honor you and your community, uh, the companies that do well and do good, uh, who are concerned about the brand and the reputation. Uh, I guess the last point I'll make is that this, we've got a, a massive, massive pullback in consumer confidence. Well, that's also tied to financial illiteracy. Uh, and so companies have to realize that they have to be concerned about uh, uh, not just the transaction but the long-term relationship. If we treat our clients like relationships and not just as transactions, uh, you don't do, do business with a day, you do business for a lifetime. That's doing well by doing good. I commend you uh, for your uh, concept of moral currency, and I encourage you to go out and teach a class in financial literacy today in your community or join Operation Hope, become a Hope Corps member because you're certainly uh, qualified. God bless you from Davos, and thanks for your passion.